hello guys welcome back to my channel so today we're going to make uh, this very cute scrubby and uh, what you're gonna need you're gonna need just one kind of yarn so I'm going to use this red yarn and I'm going to use uh, this crochet hook which is 4.5 millimeters I don't know if you can see that yes 4.5 millimeters okay so let's get started so first uh, we're going to start with the magic ring so and then we're going to do six single crochet into the magic ring so we're going to do the magic ring and then six single crochet so you're going to do one two three four five and six okay so after you're done you're going to pull through your yarn that and make sure your circle is tight enough okay so in the second row we're going to increase all the way around uh, but in the back loops only so you're going to do two single crochet in the back loop two single crochet in the back loop all the way around for a total of 12 single crochets so you're going to do two single crochets in the back loop Okay, and then you're going to do again in the other stitch to a single crochet in the back loop okay and then you're going to repeat that all the way around so to a single crochet so in this project we'll be working out in the back loops only and then to a single crochet So repeat that again to single crochet in the other back loop and in the last stitch to do two single crochets So after our second row, in our third row, uh, we're going to do two single crochet in the first chain and then single crochet in the next chain and then repeat, increase, single crochet, increase, single crochet and we're going to do in the back loops only. So you're going to do two single crochet in the first chain. Okay, and then single crochet in the next uh, chain in the back loop and then two single crochet okay and then single crochet in the next then two single crochet in the next stitch Okay, so you're going to repeat that all the way around until here where your marker is for a total of 18 stitches so don't forget to do only in the back loops only so we're going to do in the back loops only until the end okay so after our third row in our fourth row we're going to increase in the first stitch and then do single crochet in the next two stitches and repeat the pattern all around for a total of 24 stitches and again we're going to do in the back loops only so you're going to increase in the first stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the same stitch 
and then single crochet in the next two stitches okay and then repeat that all over again so two single crochet and then single crochet in the next two stitches And repeat that until the end for a total of 24 stitches okay so after that in our fifth row uh, we're going to increase in the first stitch and then do single crochet in the next three stitches and repeat the pattern all around for a total of 30 stitches so we're going to do two single crochet in the first stitch and then do single crochet in the next three stitches so you're going to do single crochet single crochet single crochet okay and then we're going to increase in the next stitch so you're going to do two single crochet in the next stitch and remember we are only doing in the back loops only in the whole project and then single crochet in the next three stitches one two three and then you're going to repeat that all around until until the end for a total of 30 stitches okay so in our sixth row uh, we're going to increase in the first stitch and then do a uh, single crochet in the next four stitches and repeat the pattern all around for a total of 36 stitches so you're going to go in the first stitch and do two single crochet in the back loop and then do single crochet in the next four stitches so one two three four okay and then increase in the next stitch And then do single crochet in the next four stitches one two three four Okay, and then you're going to repeat the pattern all around for a total of 36 stitches okay so after we're done with the row six now we're going to start making our edges and for the edges uh, we're going to start with a chain two so you're going to do chain one and then chain two and then we're going to do double crochet in the next stitch so you're going to yarn over go in the next stitch uh, in the back loop of the next stitch and then pull through and then pull through the first two uh, loops and then pull through the next two loops okay and then uh, after that we're going to do a chain three so you're going to do chain one two and then three and then uh, so you have one two three chains so you're going to go in the third uh, chain from the hook so you're going to do one two and then in this uh, chain you're going to slip stitch so you're going to pull through and then pull through all the two together okay and then we're going to double crochet in the next uh, stitch so you're going to yarn over go in the next uh, in, an, in the next stitch and then pull through pull through the first two and then pull through the next two and then uh, we're going to do a chain one again so you're going to do chain one and then in the same in the same stitch that we did a double crochet you're going to do a slip stitch okay so you're going to slip stitch and then after you're done you're going to go in the next stitch and slip stitch again so you're going to go in the next then pull through and pull through 
going to do a slip stitch okay so we're going to repeat the pattern all around and make uh, 11 flames so I'm going to show you one more so you're going to do a chain two so one two and then double crochet in the next chain so you're going to yarn over and then going the next chain pull through and then pull through the first two loops and pull through the next two loops then we're going to do a chain three so one two three and then in the third chain from the hook you're going to slip stitch so one two then in the third chain slip stitch so pull through pull through and then you're going to double crochet in the next stitch so you're going to yarn over go in the next stitch go in the next stitch pull through and then pull through the first two loops pull through the next two loops okay and then after that you're going to do a chain one and then in the same stitch that you did a double crochet uh, you go you slip stitch and then after that in the next stitch you slip stitch okay so you're going to uh, repeat the pattern all around until you have 11 of this so one two until you have 11 and then i'm going to show you how to do the last one which is the top one so i'll see you when you're done with the other flames and then i'll show you how to do the last one so you're done with your 11 flames uh, as you can see this is how it's supposed to look like so in the in our last flame which is our 12th flame we're going to do the same pattern so you're going to do a chain two and then double crochet in the next stitch going to go in the next stitch pull through and then pull through okay and then uh, we're going to do a chain three so one two and three then you're going to slip stitch in the third chain from the hook you're going to slip stitch so after you slip stitch in the third chain from your hook you're going to double crochet in the next stitch so you're going to yarn over go in the next stitch and do a double crochet okay and then you're going to do a chain one and then slip stitch in the same uh, stitch that you did a uh, double crochet Okay, and then also you're going to go in the next stitch and slip stitch so in this case we're going to skip so you have two stitches left over here so you have to you're going to skip this one and slip stitch in the next stitch okay and then you'll be done with your flames so you're going to cut your yarn that and then we're going to weave in the end so I'm going to put my crochet hook through and then pull through the, the yarn so that it's neat and clean and then go also in the next uh, in the next loop and then pull through the yarn then after that I'm going to cut it So it's going to look something like that as you can see it's very cute so after that uh, we're going to make this handle for putting your hand through so what we're going to do I'm going to start with a chain and we're going to start with a chain five so I'll show you so I'm just going to tie my yarn so I like doing my chain like that first I tie my yarn Okay, and then I'm going to do a chain five. So I'm going to do one, two, three, four, and five. Okay, so after that, uh, in the second chain from the hook, 
I'm going to do a single crochet all the way around until the end so for a total of uh, four single crochets so I'm going to skip this chain and then go in the next chain so I'm going to do single crochet one single crochet two single crochet Okay, and single crochet in the last chain as well. So single crochet. Four. Okay, so after you're done with your four single crochet, uh, you're going to do Okay, so after you're done with your four single crochet, uh, you're going to do a chain one and turn, turn your work, and then you're going to do again four single crochet all across. So you're going to go in the first stitch, do single crochet, one single crochet. crochet two single crochet three and single crochet four okay and then I'm going to chain one and turn my work again so I'm going to do again for single crochet so one Two, three, four, and then chain one. So you're going to repeat that all around for single crochet, chain one, all around until it's this size or it's the size of your hand. And uh, when you're done, you're going to place it at the center of your work. So as you can see, this is going to be the front side, so the right side. So you're going to place it at the back side so as you can see i placed mine here at the center and then what i did i slip stitched here at the edge at the edges so as you can see we have uh these loops over here so i use these loops to slip stitch my work like that and then uh, i weaved at the end so i slip stitched all through all through and then again here I did the same thing I slip stitched over at the end and then all the way through so that it looks neat okay so uh, once you're done with the handle and uh, you finish doing everything uh, you can enjoy your scrubby so I hope you enjoyed this video if you haven't checked out my other videos please check, uh, check them out and if, if you haven't subscribed uh, subscribe to see more videos Thank you. Bye.